the final subchapter of Uncanny Legends has been released. And this is the progress we've made so far. So we gotta make a lot of progress. And your boy has a genius idea. Ubers will carry me. Ubers make everything faster and easier and better. So, what if I use an entire team of Ubers? Flawless plan, Chosy. Flawless. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong with this plan. It goes very wrong. It, it does not work. This was a terrible idea. Let me explain this show of a, uh, of a squad here. So, meat shields are kind of, you know, lacking. But, Matama might be our best meat shield yet. She's still, like, 750. Now, you might be thinking, well, isn't she, like, OP in her other form? Uh, yeah. But, she's the only one that can resist the relic enemies. Miku Matama might be the only thing stopping them from hitting our base immediately. Princess... Kakaguya, it, it was the cheapest Uber I could afford. Um, it's the cheapest one. That's, that's it. That's her secret right there. Mama Taro's leveled up, that's why. Love struck greater demon. I, you know, he seems to be good against everything. So if I find like a relic enemy, if he gets the first strike in there, awesome. It means he's gonna knock them back, so them or any of these effects right here. Barrel, great units. Yukimura, great units. Ultraland, pass land, works against everything in the back. Keep him alive, use Cassie for the knockback, and the only one with cursed immunity, right? Right. So she actually will be vital, and I don't know, man. This guy, he looks pretty cool. Uh, he attacks from afar. Imagine him being a, a luxurious version of Cyberpunk Cats. He could do a bunch of things. He's immune to curse, which is always helpful. I have done the Kazamin Ruins and the Shallow Sea Green. I think there was a previous video where I did some stupid challenge again, and I failed miserably. So the challenge is pretty much how far can I get in Uncanny Legends with the Luga family. It's over. It's it. That's it. it we're done. Uh, we got to Shadow Sea Green, and quite frankly, I am done. And this is how far I got. So now it's on to the playing bandits. We do not want to hit that base. Base bad. Don't hit that base. Okay, hit the base. <laughs> what the hell was... <laughs> I need time to think about this. There is two rhinos. I think they call this one the old horn. So I know the rhino dude hits a lot. It's a very frequent hitter. <laughs> Okay, nothing, nothing stops them. Nothing stops them. There's like four of them? How many is there? Okay, so I quickly learned the strat. We are going to summon this guy. Lots of him. That's the plan there. And maybe the occasional Ultra Lan. We do not want to hit the base at all. Yeah, yeah, he, he does no damage. There's some more Matamas, because they're also very useless here. In this form, of course, before people get mad. So yeah, our, our plan is to stack, I don't know, Ultra Lands and Las Vosses behind a wall of Matamas. The, the problem is they're a little bit too strong. And the cooldowns are ridiculous. But what we have done here, at least, is... We have totally gotten max money here, so we're better off than the, the first attempts, right? All right, I think this is this is it, I'm afraid. We got just enough for last boss. Okay, I think we summon everything now. Maybe we could have stacked Balrogs, that would have been better, right? I think Balrogs would have been a better stack. Whatever, it's done now. The deed has been done. I mean, the whole plan here is to stack so much power that we maybe kill at least one of these guys or weaken them enough that, like, we get the finishing blow on one of them sooner or later. That's the strat here. Look at all this power just congealed into one pile of, of 2D mess. Look at them all die slowly but surely to the almighty stack of Old Horn. God, he's so 3D. And we're doing it. We're pushing him back. Um, look, we're not doing it. Don't jinx me. But we're pushing him back. We're doing things to him, which is beneficial. Ha <gasps> ha. We killed one. This is huge. <laughs> it's done. It's easy. Next one, please. Now, do we owe it to the Lasvos stack? 
No. Ultra Lamp Pass Land, though, was pretty good investment. Lazvos might get kicked from the team. Okay, one stage done. Actually, like, really good. I would say Kunia Kun worked out fantastically. I see Ultimate Lazvos, kind of terrible. I think if we try that again, we could probably stack up some Balrogs instead. It, it's always the Balrogs, man. That's always the key to our success. All right, Buggy Hollows. What's, what's Buggy Hollows about? Ah, crap. Zombies. <sighs> okay, who, who has zombie killer? Not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have zombie killer? No. All right, just, just Balrog. Let's Balrog. Let's give it a little tester and we'll, um, we'll get some zombie killers next time. You must have zombie... No. Okay. Just checking. Now I want to summon some Ultra Land Pass Lands. Oh, what the hell? There's, there's three geese and a dog. It's actually a duck, Chosie. That's a, that's a goose if I've ever seen one. I live in a farm, okay? I know my animals. All right. The goose seemed quite strong. It, it destroyed Balrog in seconds. So the real issue really is... Is these guys. I think... Even though you're not great against traitless, this still works. Oh, there goes Ultra Land. Yo, these ducks are super powerful. And by ducks, I mean geese. Knock back. Okay, we're dead. It's very simple. We just need to adjust our team slightly. Dark Tanyan Cat, we're 100%. It's going to be really good here. He's coming in the squad. Let's go. Uh, you go forever. Do we have any, like, zombie killers that are uber? Yo, Sarah Canny. Let's go. And it's cheap. Okay. That'll be our ticket for the small peons that is zombies. Now, zombies don't give you much money when you kill them. That is... It, it, it kind of blows. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think there'll be many zombies in this stage here. It, it seems like the real killer, the real murderer, is in fact the the geese. So Matama's gonna resist the zombies. We got Sarakani here who will destroy the zombies. In the meantime, we'll be building up money for our dark tanyan cat to kill the geese. Flawless plan, Chosy. Thank you. Nope. Sarakani did not kill the zombies, and he's just gonna keep on tiptoeing away from imminent danger. He's weakening them for the second Sarakani right here, who is struggling a bit. I don't want to spend too much money yet. Maybe summon two of them? There we go. Look at that. We're doing it. We're doing things. I'm not afraid. All right, and now we can afford our Dark Tanyan Cat. Let's go ahead and summon it now before these guys get creamed. Maybe summon a little, like, laser here to protect Dark Tanyan Cat for, like, one hit. Okay. Nope, still nothing. Awesome. A little Balrog here. All right, Dark Tanyan Cat's still alive. He's almost dead, though. Maybe a little Yukimura here to protect. There we go. Huge protect. One more hit, please. No, he's dead. No, he's alive. And stronger than ever. Okay. So we're going to get like a few kills here that aren't zombie killing. But I can only imagine the, the flock of geese were the hardest thing here in the stage. And we've already destroyed that. We've nailed the stage automatically. We just keep on summoning Matamas and there's more geese. Okay. So Dr. Nick got killed by the second flock of geese. Um... Man, this is quite the pickle. Ultralan, I've decided upon Ultralan. Maybe you can murder. Yo, the geese were already like pretty weakened by Doctanian cats. They are just destroying the remaining, the remaining geese and dogs. This is fine. Get back though, a little bit, please. Thank you very much. If we can knock them back a bit. Yo, yeah, Ultralan, if you could like hit him, smack him a bit. There we go, beautiful. Okay, this works, this is fine. More, more geese, eh? Do they stop? We have an army of Ubers here. They should make quick work of these geese. Can't quite work out what's going on, but they're dead. Yep, they're all dead. And you know what? I think we've earned ourselves a castle. I think we've done a, a fantastic job so far. Bringing castle. We've earned it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. Last time I tried out this challenge here with just Ubers, it was difficult. It was very difficult. This time round, much easier. <laughs> Surprisingly easy. Of course it's easy using Ubers, you scum. You don't need anything else. Now, is this faster than the normal way of doing things? No. <laughs> Absolutely not, no. Okay, on to Thriller Grin. This is a green area if I've ever seen one before. This is very green. It's giving me like green energy. Again, still simple Matama, right? Okay, we got Alien Green. Yo, Matama, could you just... I don't know what you're playing at, but could you just get them back, please? Thank you. 
Please don't die. Okay, yep, yeah, dogs destroy, that's fine. Yo. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> There's no green energy. I was wrong, but there is this guy right here, which is scary. Oh, he sucks. I actually- no, I hate him. What's his name? Professor Master A? Professor B? I don't know. <laughs> they all have stupid names. Like, the profession is in education, that's all I know. Whoops. You call me looking at some super rares. You weren't supposed to see this. I don't need super rares for this. All I need is Ubers. We can do it with just Ubers. Huntress Tiron? But aliens and red enemies and she's new? Man, I do like new. She could work. Just realize I do have Glorious Amaterasu and Chronos the Infinite. Two units that are very, very good. Um, especially against relic enemies. Now, Amaterasu, I'm pretty sure gets outranged here. Yo, can I just quickly Google this son of a bitch? What was he called here? Master... Is it Master A? No. Wrong, incorrect, professor. He's a professor. He got his masters and became a professor. So his range is 501. Now, this is where I wish they had this information in the game. Because I... What am I supposed to do? Look for like every single unit that might have an, a higher attack range than this dude right here? Is, is that what you want me to do? Okay, I've heard Aphrodite is great for this guy because she has a large bow of, of some kind or something. She has some juicy range. So she's good against aliens, right? Not the best for the stage. However, there is aliens. They do exist. I've seen them. So Lasvos can go forever. I regret upgrading Lasvos. Yo, okay. What if I use Cat Machine as the ultimate tank, right? What if I evolve him? I need one more blue cat fruit. Yo, it's time. So for probably about uh, a millennia, people have been asking me to upgrade Cat Machine to true form. I think it's time, grow. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I do deserve this. Thank you. This cat's very good. Um, help. Oh, it needs more levels. Okay. Goodbye experience points. I didn't like you anyways. Put you to like level 35. I don't think it matters too much. And it's evolve you. Check. We're gonna have like zero carefree after this. You look so cool as well. Guys, okay, add. And here you go, he gets the power of flights. Very cool. This is a really cool unit. Kamishi Mark III. Okay, so what happens again when he evolves? So he's just like a simple boy. Then he gains the power of... Oh. It doesn't really help us out. He does have... <gasps> Gain freeze? Bro, I have a lot of MP. Is he worth? Immune to knockback also seems really good. I didn't realize he doesn't have that because I feel like that's very necessary. So he also gains more HP, more attack as well. He attacks more frequently at, at, at Mark III. He becomes just an absolute king. He just becomes that guy. And trust me, you want to be that guy. All right, we could give some talents, but you know what? We've just given him his true form, okay? We've already showered him enough with attention. Let's just see what happens first, okay? Okay, she's running along here. Off she goes, failing miserably as per usual. Classic Matama. She does have long range, by the way, which is why she's missing everything she does. Then we summon this f***ing behemoth. Man, it's kind of slow. Could you move forwards, please? Could you move forwards? We're dying. We're dying here? Death is- you're not, you're not getting any talents. I'm not giving you any talents. You don't deserve the talents. This time round, we're not gonna summon anything. Let the small people smash at our base. They don't do any damage, right? We summon you. Look at that. Oh no, like 200 damage. That's like, what was, is that 2000? She'll kill all three of these weird dogs and we'll be fine. Let me summon like one more timer maybe. Uh, it's imperative that she doesn't die here though. If, if we lose her, we lose, okay, she's dying. She's amazing. Now we summon Cat Machine and we have a lot of money to spend here. We just summon a few Matamas and maybe stack, start stacking uh, Mega Aphrodite. What's her name? Why do I feel weird about saying her name? Aphrodite? What does that mean? I feel like that means something rude. Oh, otters? Kill the otters. We have a, a baby boy for that. She's way too close. Girl, get back. Girl, you're way too close. Get back. What are you doing? She's dead. Well, at least I can kill the otters now. No, okay. The otters, okay. The secret 
stealth enemy. Our gaze was tied to the red enemies and the aliens. We had no idea. The true boss, the true villain of this story was in fact four otters. Am I saying it right? Are they otters? What's an otter? <laughs> Are these seals? Mm -mm. No, they're otters. Ah. You doubters. They're otters. The anxiety whenever I try to analyze what the enemy animal actually is. Like, ah. I better not get this farm animal wrong. I say we just try again. I say like there was a hiccup in our plan. I didn't expect the otters. Now I expect the otters. I also won't be summoning Mega Aphrodite until I am certain we are going to be fine. Okay. So Iz handles this stuff, okay? Maybe summon one Matama, just in case. There we go. Okay, beautiful. He'll get hit once, be near death. Oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. What happened? You see, it's... <clears throat> It's all about timing. A lot of cat game players forget and neglect timing. It's very important to time your units carefully. Bro, I don't know how you time this stuff. Hit once. Okay. We want Matama in front here. Okay. Just, okay. <laughs> what? What's happening? Well, there goes all my energy and confidence, mind you, as well. That's also deteriorating at a, an alarming rate. All right, we summon Matama. We want ta Matama in front to take the hits. Please be better. Be better! We summon two Matamas here. She's so slow and bad. And also, she's always behind the units. Then we summon a Balrog because I'm scared. Okay, the Balrog took the hit instead, thus allowing us to survive. We've got lots of money here. Let's summon you now. And we want to summon a Dark Tanya Cat as well for the impending doom, aka four otters. Okay, getting some good hits there on the otters. Huge. Yo, where's our cat machine gone? Just trash. Just uh, trash. Trash unit. Terrible. I've used him twice now, and... It's not my fault he was used wrong, it's his fault. Okay, so I'm, I'm scared to summon anything. <laughs> Let's summon you and, uh, okay, just you. We got some more otters coming. Huge. Okay, this is kind of working out. Let's summon a cat machine now, right? I would love to summon an Aphrodite to, here we go, an Aphrodite. Yo, she doesn't seem like long range to me. Okay, you're getting hits. You, you are a tank. Your job is tanking. Please do a better job at tanking. He does look cool though. He's dead. He is the worst unit I've ever had the pleasure or displeasure of using. He sucks. He is the worst. Why would you tell me to get him? Cat Machines, he looks amazing. The red scarf is great. Almost better than the red beanie. Almost. Okay, this is bad. But he sucks. Mechanically, not great. Aphrodite's gone. She kind of sucked ass too, just saying. Oh my good lord, the otter. Just kill me! I don't want to do this anymore! <laughs> oh! It was going so well. 4%! Who's the boss? Like, which one? Is he the boss? Is Sloth boss? Is he the guy? That's the guy. I don't change anything here. As soon as we kill the boss, right? The rest of the stage will be very simple and easy. Okay, cool. It's a little bit scary. Very scary, actually. Okay, we're about to die. Oh! oh the timing was beautiful. <laughs> so, cat machine sucks. Confirmed? Confirmed. We don't use cat machine. I don't want to summon baby boy just yet. I think Cassie might be a really good shout here. Next unit, though, has to be Baby Boy, so we can handle the Otters. Because otherwise, when we hit that base, we're going to be bombarded with four Otters. There we go. Baby Boy's fast. He's fine. Look how fast he is. Okay, this is going much worse than last time. You know what? No, it's not. It's going okay. It's going fine. Ooh, that seemed bad. What if Cat Machine now? I know what you're saying. Why do you still trust Cat Machine? You're a fool. Please do something, Cat Machine. <laughs> so Balrog for the otter. Okay, Cat Machine's dead. I went in with a Yukimura for some reason. Yukimura's gonna do nothing and die. Yep, 
that's truly what happened. Yo, okay, no, what? Okay, never mind. So because of Yukimura going in there like an absolute hero, we were able to get in there with Balrog on the sloth and it's poetry it's beautiful we're not dying to you otter look your boy might not be amazing at cat game but when it comes down to using ubers you gotta admit i'm at least in the top 50 give me give me this please give i need this i'm at least in the top 50 of youtubers who play cat game that use ubers okay otter, please say yes to me say yes that's true all right anyways the stage is done I think we've got one more left. Easy victories. John Gull. What? Okay, so I've been doing this for like almost two hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> cheat here. The battle begins with a lone boar, soon a quartet of Sir Rells with uh, will spawn. Not long after, Nimoy boar spawns, followed shortly by a wave, a large wave of Sir Rells. The process will repeat with a boar followed by more Sorrels. After 140 seconds, Sorrels will be the only enemies that spawn. So what does that mean for us? Hell, hell and earth, apps. No, actually, no, 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 no hell. Uh, we do waves. We have powerful waves and AOE attackers, right? Uber air. Surge attacks also might work here. What waves do we have? Divine Marseer. This is only for traitless. Wouldn't Dark Rider of Valkyrie be extremely good here? The answer might yes, the answer is yes. I think the answer is exclusive, yes. Yes, it is. We replace you, mm. what, what, what's, what enemies do we have here? We replace you. Is the Alluring Dancer going to be so good for the Sorrels? She would destroy the Sorrels. She is kind of carrying us here. Yukimura is also doing a fantastic job. D'Artagnan Cat's also doing great. Metama is not bad as a meat shield, surprisingly. Not bad at all. Cassie's great, honestly. I am so scummy because I've mostly been using the limited Ubers, the, um, what do you call them, the, the Uber Fests and the Epic Fest Ubers to help me get past this. But honestly, uh, this is hell. You try this. You try this out. I want you guys to try out 10 Ubers in one lineup to beat stages, man. It is not easy. It's not as easy as you think, at least. It's much harder than you think, all right? Like, Cat Machine technically shouldn't be bad here, though, because we're against Boar and Nimoy Boar. God damn it. I'm gonna give you one more chance, Cat Machine Mark Three. okay? You failed me this time. You, you failed me for the last time. I kind of want to use Huntress T-Run. Okay, how about this? Let, let's, let's use Huntress T-Run, just because I want to try her out. I want to see how she works, okay? She's new, that interests me, okay? Cool, now she's in color, supernaturally calm and clever, she strikes without fail at the weakest point of her gargantuan quarry. Excuse me? She has a large what, sorry? I too have a large quarry, and by quarry I mean my, my di- what, what do you do again? Angel, you're not used to, you know, you get out of here. Okay. All right, John Ghoul, whoever you are, just gotta wait for the, the board to pop out. Um, excuse me? The internet lied to me. This is no boar. The battle begins with a lone boar. Liar! Okay, this is going out pretty well so far. You're about to die. Oh, good swing. And you're dead. No fear. Yo, the music's amazing, by the way. I love green music. Yo, that's so cool. It's a shame you suck. All right. <laughs> she doesn't suck, okay? She doesn't suck before people get mad. I've literally just used her and she did terribly. Okay, round two. What if we summon a Matama for Sorel? Riddle me this. What if Matama dies immediately to Sorel, who then kills us? I don't play this game much anyways. I don't mind if we use all the energy. It's not like I've been playing this game for the past five years of my life. You can tell uh, the more difficult stages get, the crazier my hair gets. Things are about to get a little bit crazy, right? Okay, I think this works out really well. And then once we, we don't kill. Could you, thank you. You don't kill in one go? That's, that's terrifying to me. We got one knockback. Bro, thank you. Okay, that was a mess. That was a complete mess. Don't hit the base. Don't do it! Wait, I think it's fine. 
it's not fine. This is fine. If we can kill the boar, like, nice and quick here, I think Balrog will work here. Oh, don't kill Tiron, please. She's kind of, like, doing work. Okay, this is the issue here. Because these guys are very tough. They are killing us all. Oh! oh, oh ah. Okay. Yo, Kronos the Infinite might work really well here. So can Amaterasu. Amaterasu will do a lot of damage to the Sorrels in an area effect. Kronos can just freeze them, allowing us to go absolute ham with our ears instead. So Cassie also really works well, right? We didn't summon a Cassie last time. Get out of here. <laughs> Why are you still there? I think a Gao might also slap a bit. I think you suck. I think we literally use Kronosi Infinite here. And I'm at Tarasu, perhaps? We have a lot of expensive units, though, right now. All right, so the, the first unit is going to be the Sorel. It's quite powerful. If we summon this, no, this gets destroyed immediately. So we summon a Balrog, who misses. All right, so we have a clean Balrog for the for this fight right here. Um, let's summon a Mamataro as well. Can you freeze? Can, what, what can you do here? You're freezing. You freeze red enemies. So you can totally freeze this guy for us. And that'll be huge, okay? You get hit. You miss. Good. Um, now we plan this accordingly. So we're going to play one of these and one of these bad boys uh, with this as well. So Matama's going to get killed. Wow, just insane. It's, yeah. Kronos is too slow. Like, these Sorrels are fast. Mamataro is very key here. What if Mighty Gal, right? What if, what if another, like, uber fast uber, right? What if? We let Sorrel hit base, we summon Balrog. Boom. It's dead in one go. That is huge. We summon Mamataros for the freeze. Balrog will get hit a few times. Matama will be right there to take the next hits. It's flawless, and then we'll have enough money for the wave of Sorrels, right? Beautiful. Perfect. You're dead. All right, that's lots of money. We're now going to summon Is and Gao. And just everything else, really. <laughs> it didn't die? That's okay. Okay, cool. We did it. Huge. It's still one left. Very stubborn little squirrel. I, I don't know why you were so tough, but you're dead now. Next is the boar. We don't have a freeze for the boar. We have an Is, though. <laughs> Okay, this is gone. We don't have an is anymore. We miss with Castly on his second wave of uh, death. Okay, Cassie did work there. Okay, Balrog's gonna like destroy. There's another boar. This was not foretold in the scripts of the internet. Please. Okay, huge, easy, easy game. Please. Thank you. Oh no. Okay, we got one. Look at this mess! Okay, we just survived here. Is it, there's another boar. Pause, man. Internet, explain yourself. This battle begins with a lone boar. Soon a quartet of Sorrels will spawn. Not long after that, Nimoy boar spawns, followed shortly by a large wave of Sorrels. This process then will repeat. Oh. After 140 seconds, Sorrels will be the only enemy that spawns. How long have we been doing this for? It feels like a eternity. So I'm pretty sure that's longer than 140 seconds. No ah! way. <laughs> I think we definitely use a rich cat here. I don't see us doing it without it. Strat's the same. Let it hit the base once. Summon, kill. Matama, Mamataro, go in there, okay? We're gonna kill the boar, get money, summon Is and Gao? And maybe Kronos to keep them alive a bit more? Like another Matama as well? How did this work out like worse than last time? Yo, last time they all died, right? Last time we had everyone alive and they died. How did it work out so poorly this time? Okay, fine. Okay, cool. We still have Kronos. We need Castly out. We just want to prepare for... I don't even care about the boars. They're like very secondary right now. What I do care about is the Sorrels. So let's put a little Cassie in there. They're already here. It hurts to see them all just get knocked back, murdered by a bunch of squirrels. I'm not gonna lie to you. It hurts. There are the mighty Ubers. There's no one better than them, so we did worse. 
with more money. How does that work? I think Kronos is a sec. <laughs> Kronos doesn't work here. That's all. I think Iz is so good here. I think Cassie just misses the mark. I think it's, it's very luck based, honestly, what we're doing here. I think uh, a freaking wave might be huge. No, Ubers. We're gonna use Valkyrie again? Are we serious? Yeah, I guess. I guess we're gonna try this out, I suppose. I got the beginning kind of sorted out, right? I think it's a little bit of luck, a little bit of timing, and then the rest is like brain work. You may have realized I didn't put the timing in with brain work. It's luck for me, to be honest, if I get the timing right or not. The, the, I can't comprehend that, man. There's so much stuff going on. Screw this, I've, I've, I've got to summon these guys. So this is probably gonna be a wipe. Nah, we're fine, we actually got this. This is actually ideal. Get wrecked, get killed. <laughs> Never mind. Um. Just so you know, this kind of challenge, I I'm not gonna do for a long time. You get like one of these a year, okay? This is 2023's version of this challenge. Done. I don't have to do it ever again until next year, of which case I'll be retired in a way, so it doesn't matter. That's a joke. Don't freak out. Okay, so in the board this time around, we actually just time the peons. So the peons get to protect Balrog, which now in turn, Balrog dies regardless. So it doesn't even matter. They freeze him, but like, who cares, right? And then I summon Tiron. What's Tiron gonna do against the squirrels? The squirrels gonna kill Tiron. And there goes another rich cat. A, a valuable asset indeed. Okay, this time around, I summon the peons a little bit earlier, a tiny bit earlier. Summon Mamataros whenever I can. Just spam them out. There goes my Balrog. And we're gonna like, yeah, there we go. There's a lucky freeze that we we're hoping for. That's huge. And then when he dies, which he will die this time around. He does, he's not, die what's going on? Die. Now the squirrel's getting in the way, so he can't. How is this happening? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, what is going on, man? Okay, they all f***ing died. Um, cool. Boar's gone. Haha, -ha. okay, some of you, you, look at that, huge damage. Yo, these Sorrels don't die though. Yeah, like, what the hell is going on? Why are these the strongest enemies I've ever faced in my entire life? No, I'm Googling this stuff. What's going on? <sighs> Much like little Bun Bun, Sorrel is an extremely strong peon. Ooh, ooh. Suck its <laughs> more, please. How about you wash off your tongue before it gets too bright? <laughs> What was ah. looking? Um, yeah, I know a fast acting area attacker. I understand this. Just like, what what does that mean? Just use beluga and high damage cats. This guy's probably trolling, but someone said balaluga. Why? You freeze. Aren't you like the slowest thing to to attack though? Like you don't survive long enough to freeze. The I think the freeze is the way to go. Okay, I'm I'm flip flopping here, man. You're not strong enough. I feel like Amaterasu was doing great work and then I benched her for no reason. I have lost faith in Tiron for some reason, even though I think she does an amazing job too. This is killing me. I am losing so much rich cat. I'm using a sniper cat for whatever reason. I don't, I don't think it's gonna help me out at all. Okay. Blop. Okay, I've tried something a little bit different now. Uh, Amaterasu sucks ass. Okay, all right. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning, please, we're learning. We're learning here, for sure, for sure. Amaterasu's way too slow. Yo, I need to decide on what lineup I want here, man. If we can get Amaterasu to pop off, it works really well for us, right? Like, just checking this unit real quickly here to see how good she is, okay? She is multi-hit. Apparently, she has a lot of knockback, like, as in, like, she'll get knocked back a lot of times. This confused me a lot. So it says here, knockback 10 times, right? And for a long time, that made zero sense to me. But essentially, her health is 255,000. Let, let's divide that by 10. So each time she takes that much damage, she'll get knocked back. In theory, even though she's a tank, every single time she gets hit, she'll get knocked back, her animation canceled, and she'll start all over again. You see why she's bad now, right? That's how it works, right? Am I not, am I wrong there? Is. The dancer is fantastic for this stage, right? She's like meant for this. The problem is she gets cursed. What about my cannon? Summons a tough ball to defend your front lines. 
Bro, what if Iron Wall works? Let's just try some new cannon stuff out. <laughs> I'm desperate. Oh, I might regret this. I know she's bad. What am I doing? Like, on paper, she's really bad, right? But if she can weaken, I mean, she's gonna die very quickly. Or she gets knocked back and survives. And then, like, her weaken proc still, maybe? Now we just hope for some lucky freezes here. That's essentially how the beginning goes. Is we have to rely on a small chance of freeze. Please? Please freeze. A beautiful freeze. Okay, cool. Now, we're gonna summon you and you. Oh wow, you're fast. You're gonna die. You're dead. You didn't do anything. You just died. The iron wall though? Yo, and she she is a tank. She survived so many You are so fast, lady. She's a strange unit. When are you, you gonna die soon? Bro? Warden kind of great though? Thing is, Ponus does this thing sometimes where they make a unit and um, it's it's usually a female with a certain portion of her body that is larger than the rest, okay? And they sell them off as Ubers, but in, in fact, she's not mechanically great. It's more a different selling point that is helping her give money to Ponos, right? This is hell. This is what your experience right now is hell, okay. Gone, you can do this, maybe in summon one of you. Come on, beautiful. Fantastic. We did lose our is. We didn't have to lose is either. Okay, cool. Now we save up for... I don't know. She kind of works, right? Come on, we need to kill you so much faster. Come on, just, just kill him off already. Oh, no. Okay, some of you, you're very quick. You can get there in time. Bro, she's kind of working great. Okay, this, this is good news. This is really good for us. Okay, let's do a little iron wall here. Attack, 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 attack. Come on, team. Come on, team. I think Yukimura kind of works pretty well here too. Are we doing it? Oh, you're dirty. No, don't do me like this. Come on, kill the Sorrels. Come on, oh, that's a good hit. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, come on, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> you six, seven bitches, come on, man. There we go. Okay. It's over. It's done. No more. Video over. F*** that. Oh, I don't know who you are, John Ghoul. But I hate you. You are my nemesis now. We don't get along, John Ghoul. Well, that was cat game. Hope you really enjoyed this. Um, it's no secret now. We have reached a massive milestone. Uh, I'll let you guess which one it is. That's right. A mark is next to our name now. We have been noticed. We have been accepted. Which is huge. And it's 100% thanks to you guys. It sounds corny as hell, but no, for sure, your relentless nagging for content and your continuous support of this content has ensured that we got to this level, to this milestone, and it means the world to me. I've got some stuff planned for it. Um, I'm a little bit late to the show, of course, but let's start the new year with a, a torturous cat game video. I really appreciate it. Uh, I did a video on change, essentially what I had forecasted for this year. Things are gonna change a little bit. It's gonna be a gradual change. It won't just happen overnight. It's gonna be more, this is going to be happening at a slow rate and eventually we'll get there and we'll see how we feel about it. But anyways guys, thank you so much. Let me know what content you want next. We do have some cat game stuff coming up and I'm really scared about it because it's gonna be hard mentally. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, everybody.